Today, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper and find out lies that we are being manipulated to believe. <gasps> no, it's not that serious. I got some Trader Joe's products. I got some name brand products. And we're gonna pit them against each other in this friendly battle. Da da da. What is Lucas gonna pick for me first? Peanut butter pretzels? <laughs> yep. Yeah. But yeah, um, I like peanut butter pretzels and I've never tried either of these actually. I've only tried like the AF brand peanut butter pretzels, I think. Snyder's is like the biggest pretzel brand ever. So it will be interesting to see if they have the best pretzel recipe ever or if Trader Joe's is actually gonna steal the crown from them. Trader Joe's is just peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. But Snyder's, they say this. Filled pretzels, real peanut butter. This one has sweet peanut butter. So it makes me think that it's um, Snyder's because like they probably are more processed than Trader Joe's. This one's way more cute than, than the one, than this one. I'm gonna try one more of each, even though I already have um, my thoughts concluded. Does one taste like it has real peanut butter? Should be the question in your mind. Peanut butter makes me like, just go, it makes me go. At first, I thought the ones on this side were Trader Joe's because they felt more healthier and I associate Trader Joe's with like a healthier type thing. But then Lucas asked the question, which one tastes like it has real peanut butter because on the Snyder's packaging it says real peanut butter. And the ones on this side taste like they have more real, taste like they have real peanut butter. So I'm gonna say these is, <laughs> these is Snyder's and these is Trader Joe's. Nope, you got that one wrong. Trader Joe's won this round though because I like Trader Joe's butter. But you got fooled. Yeah, it turns out I can't be a spy. I actually don't even know if that makes sense, but. Yeah, so even though the Snyder's say they have real peanut butter, it tastes more out of, it just wait. It isn't as good in general. Yeah, it tastes more artificial. Da da da. Okay, you picked a good one. A couple of days ago, I was telling Lucas about this idea and he said, did you know like people actually say like some of the Trader Joe's stuff is made from the same manufacturer manufacturers just in case like you want to wear like people say like with stores like Aldi or just like um name brand for great value people say like there's no point of buying name brand because it's the same as um the other brands it's made in the same manufacturer or the same factory whatever so I looked at a few blogs and there's a lot of evidence that Naked Mighty, <laughs> Mighty Mango is the same exact thing as Mango 100% Juice Smoothie from Trader Joe's. It's just insane to me what marketing does. Like the Trader Joe's one just looks so healthy with the little, you know what I mean? It just looks like more like it was made at a local juicery. <laughs> yeah, and I've heard so many times watched videos on Naked is such a bad brand. Like what I mean by that is like people saying they do so much sugar, but I've never seen a video on someone saying the mango 100% smoothie from Trader Joe's is really bad for you. So it, I'd be more inclined to buy this one. Wait, are the nutrition facts the same? The Trader Joe's one has a little bit more milliliters in it, so it has ton more calories. That's interesting because it actually looks smaller with the naked eye. I was thinking the same exact thing. If you look at the ingredients, they're actually different, but on the naked bottle, one of the ingredients is natural flavor. But then on the Trader Joe's bottle, they do rosemary extract and this other stuff, but maybe rosemary extract is natural flavor. It would be, right? I would assume. I'm just really interested. in case you guys forgot. Now I love mango, so I'm probably gonna love this. I'll have like, I might hand under your chin. <laughs> I'll be like, oh wait, have your mouth open more. Are you getting it? <laughs> I'm getting it. I feel like I'm feeding a baby pig or something. That's, that, that's good enough. I already oh. have my um, opinion. It, it tastes very good. Like oh. I would 100% down this once an hour every day for the rest of my life. By the way, this one <laughs> smells like, um, 
Medicine. Wait, they smell different? This one smells like medicine to me. No. <laughs> They tasted different. They tasted different. The first one tasted better. So before I even guess, the first one was better. <laughs> um, the first one was Trader Joe's and the second one was naked. Correct! Okay, um, so Ali's blogs said that these were the exact same, but do you wanna try them? Because- Yeah, like, I have to know the difference now. Because like, I actually saw some video that even though they maybe allegedly use the same manufacturer, they still have a different process when they make it. Which could make it taste different, I guess. Ooh, Naked feels, that, that tasted good, it tasted thick. I heard that when you close your mm. eyes things, you you get more taste, so maybe yeah, I Yeah, this one more. does taste better. But this one tastes more thick, but yeah, this one's definitely better. <gasps> Guys! This is gonna be interesting to me. It might be interesting to you and you, Lucas. These these aren't the same thing, guys. They changed. Maybe in the past they were, but not anymore. Naked has zero percent, has zero grams of your daily fiber. This has four grams of fiber. Mm. Da da da. Yay! I said yay, not gay. Even though gay does mean happy, so I guess same thing. I thought this would be fr fun, a frozen mac and cheese contest. On a few blogs that I was looking at, it said that Amy's and Trader Joe's sometimes use the same manufacturers. So, um, I thought Amy's would be a good one to put against the Trader Joe's mac and cheese. This is rice mac and cheese, but it just is rice noodles, so rice pasta, so... If we're being completely honest, the Amy's is just cheddar cheese, whereas the Trader Joe's is cheddar, Swiss, <gasps> Gouda, Havati. So this 100% isn't made in the same manufacturer, but um, it will be fun to see which is butter. Oh crap, I haven't cooked them. I'm gonna go upstairs and microwave them. Just don't show my face if you're gonna film it. Beep, beep. Okay, it's done. Like, I'm not trying to be annoying, but you aren't getting my face, right? No. Yeah, the internet is just like so scary. It's terrifying. Like, I can't even believe you put your face on there. Like, no hate. I guess that's how you make your money, but like, there are consequences. Yeah. I get where you're coming from. It's just gross. But yeah, like I support you. Okay. Okay, I love the sound of mac and cheese. Digging in now. Mmm. This one tastes like Stouffer's rose and mac and cheese. These noodles are a little bit weird. I kind of think that's Amy's because they do rice noodles, which I'm, I don't even I don't even really know what it is, but like I'm assuming that's kind of weird. Somebody calling something weird. That sounds so close-minded. Okay, mac. Now I'm just gonna assume this is Trader Joe's, but we'll see. This one has to be Trader Joe's because there's way more happening. I'm just gonna close my open my eyes. <laughs> this yeah. is Trader Joe's, right? Yeah. <laughs> This mac and cheese is <laughs> is making me like giving me like homemade energy. Like I feel like I was in Iceland for like 24 months, and then um I talked to no one in the family, and then I came home and mom was like, I'll make you some mac and cheese because you still eat the mac and cheese and you old boy. <laughs> and then this is what she makes. It does look good. I'm gonna have to feast. And I and first from the Amy's one, yeah, I just I don't like Stouffer's macaroni personally. This mac and cheese is actually good to me, but it's no competition compared to the Trader Joe's one. Trader Joe's, like, they just know how to make something cheap, but make, but make it better. Like, they're gonna change the world. Yeah, people think AI is gonna change the world. This is gonna change the world. I wonder what Amy looks like. Like, I'm just gonna assume she's still alive. Mmm, that's still so good, you're right. Oh yeah, it's not bad at all. The rice noodles are a little bit weird. Oh yeah, it is like, you like, what's going on? Not this one, like, you might have to run in five circles after. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this might be a white trash opinion, but this is like um gourmet restaurant macaroni. I was just gonna say that, like. Oh my god! Damn. Da da da. Oh my gosh! Um, pop tarts, but then the Trader Joe's ones are called organic frosted toaster pasties. 
pastries. I'm just gonna assume these, yeah, these are different when made from different places because Pop Tarts have sprinkles, whereas these don't. These aren't going to taste alike. Yeah, yeah like the first ingredient in the Trader Joe's one is wheat flour, whereas this one, the first ingredient is enriched flour. I, just, I, I feel like this is gonna be the first one where Trader Joe's isn't gonna win the taste category, but who knows, maybe they'll be able to somehow do a little witchcraft to make that taste good. Wait, is it the same packaging? Yeah, it is the same type of energy. Interesting. Ew, these are like all open already. Is that a feature one that's already been open? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. It's just his dad that eats them. <laughs> Wait, dad eats these? <laughs> a little toddler. I know, he literally is a toddler. <laughs> what are your thoughts? This whole round is ruined. Why? <laughs> <gasps> I'm gonna try the next one anyway. Why'd you open your eyes? <laughs> no, oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. That's 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 actually really good. Can I open my eyes now? Well, which one do you guys switch? Mm, the last one was Tater Joe's, and the first one was Pop Tarts. Yep. This pop tart is from our parents' house, and basically, it tastes like. It, it tastes like the house. And when I tried that pop tart, I literally felt like my world imploded. Why does stuff from someone's house taste like their house? And I'm I'm grossed out right now, confused, and I feel like I'm like literally being, I don't know, I'm literally so confused, but I basically did cheat because this one literally tasted like, I don't even know how to explain that taste. And the closest thing I can say is freezer born, even though there's these weren't in the freezer and they aren't overdue. I don't know, it's but- It's basically like you took a bite out of the couch that everyone in the family sits on. I should have opened up a new one. Yeah, because this pack, that, this specific, there's two pop tops and that one was open. No joke. Trader Joe's is butter because- Oh my God. If you look at the guts, you get more flavor or more jelly in the Trader Joe's one than the Pop Touch one. Like there's a wider thing of jelly. Do you see I that? I for sure that was gonna be the opposite. Like one instances throughout the video where the Pop Touch is cheaper though. Oh. By like literally only 12 oh, cents, but. Oh, so it actually isn't a, it isn't a cheaper dupe. Nope. Da da da. Yeah. Pomegranate seeds are probably the same, but I thought, so I'm reading this book right now about like how plants like, um, there's like so many different varieties of them and like when you add stuff to plants they taste different So like maybe Trader Joe's gets their pomegranates from a farm where like they have a different type of seed or something I don't know how exactly how it works, but or their farmers could just be full of more love That's true. Love is an ingredient always. You haven't had these you said? I have like once only Did you know to get these seeds you open a pomegranate and like soak it in water? Really? Yeah, it's like actually interesting Oh, I am. I'm kidding. Oh wait, I can open my eyes now, right? Oh, they look the same. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I was closing my eyes. Oh, they're a little bit sour. Oh, they, what's, are they they're usually like a sweet thing? I just don't remember them being that sour, but maybe they always were. But well, those sound like they have more of a crunch, just from an outside perspective. <laughs> I'm not even making this up, there is a difference. How am I supposed to guess like which one's Trader Joe's and which one's the name brand? Like, cause I don't know what the difference would be. In my humble opinion, these ones are butter. So, since Trader Joe's is usually butter, I'm gonna say these are Trader Joe's and these are name brand. Correct! <gasps> Wait, the Trader Joe's is actually butter? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just like, in a funk right now, I'm so confused. I don't know, like, how are they just better at everything? At a certain point, it, it kind of gets annoying in a way. Someone's good at too many things, like, that's actually bad. And you start you need to push <laughs> them down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> da da da. While we're in the little fruit era. I guess people find out if they're made in the same manufacturer by like, looking what got Recalled. This must have got recalled at the same time as this one, so then, like, apparently they're the same thing. I've never even had stony failed or organic because when we got these as a kid, we just would have, like, what is it called? Gogot? And then the Trader Joe's ones is called, is called, is called Squishers. I do like that. Oh, yeah, it just gives a better vibe. Squishers. Okay, so these are the same exact grams of tube, but the Trader Joe's one is 10 more calories. So it kind of makes you wonder. 
if like they even are the same thing like. But isn't it because they use the same manufacturer, but they have to change something, the slightest thing so they don't get sued, right? Oh, I want the exact same thing, but okay, add a little bit more milk fat because we can't get sued. Wait. And one each hand? Double fisting! Wait, how do you open them? Oh, it's like, oh. dead. Like, you're downing it! Ozempic mm. boy. I know. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> this one tastes like vanilla, not really strawberry, so... Yeah. They skimped on the flavoring. They really do taste so similar. This one tastes more like strawberry though. And this one also tastes butter, this one does. So I'm gonna say this one's Trader Joe's and this one's Stony Field. Uh, I got it right! I know, so it just always is that um Trader Joe's is just better. <laughs> yeah, this one tasted too vanilla-y and milky, whereas this one, like, the strawberry flavor really came out. Is it like, what? what's with the packaging? Is it just where it's easier for kids? Oh or? wait, yeah, I think it's, it's literally just so kids can have fun being like, now that your parents don't have to do more dishes. Da-da-da. Make sure you have these upstairs, you could just use ours. This is one of the ones where I'm just so interested. Like, because Chewy, or what is this, Quaker? Like, they know how to do it. So, I, I, I've had these before, by the way, the Trader Joe's one. So, like, I'm just interested, like, which one's gonna be butter? Will I know the difference? There's a lot of questions, a lot of things to... No, yeah, that's that's all I mean. Is, chewy, what? chewy, the Quaker one is, like, double the calories, right? Because I feel like the, that one's just better. It's, like, thicker and everything. They both have 100 calories per bar, and what? both bars are 24 grams. Looking at the nutrition, they low-key seem like they're made from the same manufacturer, but at the same time, it's a little granola bar. All it is is oatmeal, chocolate chips in the soda, yeah, so like, and then like some other dots. So it's like, what else can you do? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of funny thinking about the first person that was like, Wait, let's do granola, but in a bar. Like, I wonder if everyone was like, okay. I used to have Go these jump off a cliff, we aren't gonna do what you'd say. <laughs> I used to have these literally every single day. Okay, I won't look. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks very pretty, chocolate chips everywhere. This one looks very ugly. Just like, no, where are the chocolate chips? <laughs> No, it's tough. No, no, honestly, just hearing it from five feet away, it, it sounds like depression. The drought in LA. <coughs> That's what it reminded me of. It kind of reminded me of the Dust Bowl, actually. This is reminding me of childhood. What's that flavor? There's a flavor in some of these granola bars that actually is like, wants me to slap it. And it's like, shut up, you're being so annoying because it's so good. Yeah, there's like this flavor that just is like, shut up. Cause it's so good. The butter one is Trader Joe's, this one. But my reasoning behind it is Quaker has been around for so long. They have nothing to prove. If you're getting the Quaker chocolate chip granola bar, you're shopping at a supermarket like Target, Walmart, Kroger, or something like that. Well, the Trader Joe's one kind of has something to prove. So they need to make it butter. You know what I'm saying? Was this one's like, do you understand what I'm saying, Lucas? It's so hard to listen because you're completely wrong. Wait, I'm wrong? Yeah, Trader Joe's one is the shitty one. I just was assuming I was right! Yeah, they're completely shitty. I was actually in this mindset where I was like, I'm 100% right, I, I know everything. Wait! No, so you like, um, Trader Joe's? No, no. <clears throat> okay, this is one where I actually just have to have you try because the Trader Joe's one, it has flavor, but this one, it's like, oh my gosh, like, uh, that one has a flavor. And your like, teeth just sink through it. This one, you're gonna have to go to the dentist, little piece of shit. And maybe it is healthier, but I mean, I don't even know if it would be. Who knows? Da da da. Animal cracker time. <laughs> now, this was on the blog that was talking about Lee cows. It said apparently, Baffles Animal Crackers Original are the same as these. Is that Stouffer's? They make lasagna and animal crackers, or is it different? It has to be, it's a different brand, I think. Oh, okay, I was about to like throw up. Capitalism is so bad, and it's ruining us. Literally. You know? <laughs> yeah! Okay. It should be noted that there is a little more than a few instances where Trader Joe's is more expensive than name brand. 
They do, um, wait, no? Yeah, they, they, they do kind of look the same. Okay. Original animal crackers just taste like lemon. These taste like lemon. These literally taste the same. Like, oh, so this might be where the vlogs are. They ain't capping. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Both of these taste exactly the same, but there is one difference that I could notice. These ones were easier to bite into. You bit into them and they were airy. Whereas these ones were more, were more tough. And when you bit into them, you kind of had to do a more, uh, you know, like a lion bite. So like, I don't know, last year on Tato Joe's sucked. I'm just gonna go, go from my previous experience and this one was Tato Joe's because it technically was butter and this one was Stouffer's or whatever the brand is. Correct. Okay, yeah, so that one though actually was a difference that I could notice. Da da da. Cookie, cookie, cookies. This is another one where apparently they're exactly the same. I have no idea what Tate's Bake Shop is, but I'm just gonna say it. If you ate these when you were younger, you probably were like, wasn't your dad probably the CEO of the company? It just gives fancy energy. Yeah, those, those were only around in upper mid class homes. Guys, according to this thing that I read, these are the same cookies, but if you look at the Trader Joe's, it says serving size, 12 cookies for 150 calories. Now the Tate one, Tate, that thing between your butt and penis, two cookies is 140 calories. Uh, so so they okay. are the mini ones. No, but these could be the same, but these ones are just bigger. Oh. Okay. Now these mini cookies, I've never had these ones, but mini cookies are like, if you want to become a couch potato, get a bag of mini cookies. Yeah, these are big cookies. <laughs> so you messed but up. But they could still be the same. Are they are they crunchy? Yeah, they, they look actually a lot different, but let's see. Okay. Bite. Oh yeah, I can eat it all day. What? It's good, it's crunchy. Um, Nothing to rave about though. Are you ready? Mmm. That one has more chocolate chips in it. Second one was definitely butter. And I'm gonna guess that's the Tate one, just because it, the packaging seems so cool and stuff. Second one I had was Tate's and the first one was Trader Joe's. Because the Trader Joe's ones don't even look that good, so I'm just gonna assume they aren't that good. Wrong! You, really? enjoyed, you enjoyed the first one better, right? No, oh, I enjoyed the second one better. No, you said first, didn't you? Oh, um, I enjoyed the second one better. The, oh. the second one I think is um, Tate's and the first one is Trader Joe's. Oh no, the second one was Trader Joe's. So yeah, wrong. Let me try. <laughs> For some reason I just don't believe you. Because why is this one still better? Oh no, the second one was 100% Trader Joe's. I believe you, but I'm confused now because the second one you gave me was butter. But why when I'm tasting them now, the Tate's one is butter? Now, maybe I'm just brainwashed because I, the packaging is so cool. That's the only thing I can account it to. Maybe the bite that you gave me of the Trader Joe's one was just like the perfect bite, but like... And that just proves that visuals go so much into... Who cares? Everything. We're just gonna go to the... I still think the second one you gave me is butter, and that's the Trader Joe's one. Yeah, that was the blind taste test. Da da da. Good old ranch. Hidden Valley, the original ranch. I'm pretty sure the person that made Hidden Valley, I know this from a YouTube comment that someone left on one of my videos, is made from a guy that's from Nebraska. And I'm from Nebraska. So that's kind of cool. Trito Joe's is organic ranch dressing, so I'm just gonna assume it's not gonna taste as flavorful. Two tablespoons, you get 110 calories, and with Hidden Valley, you get two tablespoons for 130 calories. So organic can still probably be good. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> is there any left? <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming out. Okay, I don't know why I'm in this mood right now, but for some reason, eating ranch by itself makes me want to throw up. <laughs> that one's good. I think that's Trader Joe's, but we'll see. Yeah. Hidden Valley, Trader Joe's, and both delicious, but I would just say Hidden Valley's butter because um, I grew up with it, it's thicker, you know. This Trader Joe's one's kind of watery. But the Trader Joe's one, I would just eat it still. I would buy it. You're correct on the guess. Oh, Hidden Valley and 
I should have cut my eyes closed because, okay, have you noticed when you don't buy Hidden Valley Ranch, it's always watery. Hidden yeah. Valley Ranch is like thick, whereas other ranches are watery. Did you want to aware of this? I wasn't aware of this, but Lucas was in the corner the whole time, secretly do writing down analytics, and now we have a scientific study conducted by Lucas and kind of me, and the results are going to be displayed in, yeah, right now. You liked Trader Joe's seven percent of the time. So according to the double blind randomized trial, Trader Joe's makes better food than name brand. Okay. And we can say that and science backs it up. Yeah, it's weird because you were also right 70% of the time about which was which. So since those numbers correlate, that could mean something that could lead to a different study, but we aren't sure yet. I gotta say, even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would want to do this on a Saturday afternoon because it was enjoyable. Thanks, Lucas, for helping. And I'm going to be going. Bye.